coming into this year's U.S. Open, I really wanted to get a result against the best guys in the world to get a data point and to see where I stack up. Nerves are definitely setting in. Got to see all the athletes, uh, big names like Christian, Jan, Lionel, you know, all the Magnus Ditliff, all, you know, the list goes on, a ton of people. I'm just looking to compete at the world stage. I competed in two massive races last year, 70.3 Worlds and the US Open, and I ended up dropping out of both of those. After talking to Lionel a little bit today, I think it's just going to be a very individual time trial type of day. So um, I'm going to be in my head for three, three and a half hours. And I think if I'm going to do well, I'm going to have to be in my head in a positive way. And yeah, just not be my own worst enemy. And I think that's my biggest problem sometimes is I'm, I'm super fit and I'm ready to execute. But I just, I get in my own head and I get worked up. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to, you know, I'm coming off two great races, the body's coming around, no excuses, so, you know, just positive vibes and full throttle. I had a pretty good night's sleep, was able to sleep mostly through the night, usually night before a race, you're pretty rambunctious and up and down just because you're so nervous and kind of dry in the day. But I slept well and we had some food and then headed out for just an activation swim at the local gym here. Felt good, uh, got in what we needed to do and then headed over to just a quiet road, knocked out a 20 minute activation bike did some cadence work, a little bit of effort, just to make sure, you know, legs and everything was, and the bike was operating properly. And then just a quick five minute run with a pickup. And idea of that is just to kind of do something in the morning, just because we're not going till 4 p.m. at night. So I ended up getting a few activation sessions in across swim bike run this morning. Bike was working good, shoes felt good, swim felt good, everything felt good. Um, and yeah, then we made our way down to Milwaukee around two, uh, two in the afternoon. With it being a night race, obviously the anticipation grows all day, so trying to harness those nerves throughout the whole day is a challenge. We're trying to get to the evening in one piece. Swam really hard the first lap. It was 30 seconds down to Lionel after the first lap, and then the gap ballooned even more. I think it was a minute 40 to him after the second lap, and I just, I just, I just got tired. I just, you know, blew up hard and. I ended up swimming 31.15, so you know, it was five and a half minutes down from the lead. It's just hard, and I've just got to continue to work at the swim and try to get better. That swim was obviously really taxing. But got on the bike, was doing what I could do, and I was pushing not great watts, but not bad watts. I was trucking right along. Saw so I wasn't really losing time in the back of the race. And then I was coming up, just about to start lap seven. 
a USA Triathlon official rolled up next to me about a thousand meters before starting lap seven, said that you were lapped out, that you need to escort yourself off the race course. Basically at the penalty box, and so I did. I wasn't gonna argue with him. I stopped at the penalty box, right in transition, trying to hold myself together, because obviously I knew I wasn't lapped out. The PTO walked up to me and said that it was a miscommunication, that that should have never happened. You know, sucks, right? Because, uh, like, yeah, thanks for saying sorry, but like, just stinks, right? Um, because I wasn't able to uh, to get to the run, right? That's that's what I'm that's what I'm good at. And I just wasn't able to finish the race. You know, I'm, I'm to say I'm, to say I'm sad is is an, is an understatement. I'm 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 really sad. It's just I wanted to to get a result. I wanted to finish the race. And yeah, I just, to be honest, I really just wanted to finish. I, I have done three world-class races now and I haven't finished three of them now. And I was, you know, battling in my head all day. Like it was obviously hard and yeah, I wanted to quit, but I, just, I, I kept pushing and I was like, dude, just get to the run and to get that taken away from me. And, and don't, don't get me wrong, if I would have been lapped legitimately, like, yeah, for sure. Like I would have been lapped, but I was going on my last lap, so. Obviously, once you start the last lap, it's impossible to get lapped. It stinks. It's it's just it's embarrassing. It's sad, and it's just really unfortunate. I heard a lot of cheers out there. It honestly is what kept me going. I've never heard that many people yelling my name, and I was just excited to get to the run and try to try to make something happen. But. Uh, yeah, just uh, thanks for thanks to everyone who uh, you know who tuned in, watched uh, some of the videos. Thank you for everyone that supports me, claps, cheers my name, the whole nine yards. I, it, you know, it, it kept me going today, and yeah, just got an opportunity taken away from us. And yes, on to the next. Uh, I'm probably not going to do seventy point three worlds, so probably need to go home and just you know, try to become a better athlete and try to put this behind me. I'm sure it's gonna take a few days to compartmentalize everything. But uh, yeah, did what we could and unfortunate, but on to the next.